Hello, and welcome back. The beautiful trees are letting go of their leaves, the sure sign of winter to come, and the holidays arriving. Later, we will be out here to clean them up. But first, I grabbed a few groceries to stock up our pantry. Some things I like to keep on hand are anchovies, raw almonds, smoked salmon, and pure maple syrup. I also grabbed some candles an advent calendar for my daughter, and these gorgeous hydrangeas for the house. They are one of my favorite flowers, and I have tried to grow them, but my yard is so sunny, it's hard to find the right spot. many trees that line the yard, and that means in the fall we have to come out here pretty frequently, otherwise they wind up in the pool. It's a beautiful, sunny November day, and perfect for raking leaves.
This is one of those chores that, once it's done, it feels great, even if it only lasts for a few days. Christmas will be here in just a few weeks, and I like getting the house ready a little earlier so we can enjoy it longer. I decided it's the perfect day to put up the tree and the rest of the Christmas decorations. Our house was built in 1951, and I love the arches from this era. I like to add some lighted garland to it. It makes the house feel so cozy and adds a really nice statement when walking in. This garland I have had for years and the lights no longer work, but instead of throwing it out, I'm going to add some battery operated string lights to it. massive orange tree is already producing. I'm going to dry some orange slices to hang on our Christmas tree. They make the house smell amazing while drying out in the oven and give a sweet natural element to the decorations. These will go in a low oven for several hours until dry.
For dinner tonight, I'm making a sourdough focaccia bread and mushroom soup. To prep the focaccia, I dimple the dough with my fingers and generously add olive oil to the pan to massage into the dough. Allow it to hang out here for a second rise until ready to bake. This Christmas tree is also very old and sentimental as it was a gift for my late husband. And all these years later, it's still our Christmas tree. lights no longer work on this either, so I add some to it. Now to make the mushroom soup. I will leave a link for both the creamy mushroom soup and the sourdough focaccia bread in the description box below. This is a very simple soup to make, and you could use whatever kind of mushrooms you have on hand to make it. I begin by sauteing the mushrooms in olive oil with some fresh herbs like rosemary and thyme, salt and pepper, as well as a few cloves of fresh garlic. to bake our focaccia, I'm going to top it with fresh rosemary on one side and sliced tomatoes on the other. I like to finish it off with flaky sea salt and bake. When the mushrooms are ready, it's time to add a little bit of flour and some cream and then to finish it off with some stock. Mm -hmm. 
Our orange slices are nice and dried. I will be adding hooks to these after dinner. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old lang syne. Talk a cup of kindness yet for days of old lang syne. And here's a hand, my trusty friend, and just a hand of thine. We'll talk a cup of kindness yet for all. For all thine sign 